All right, y'all. Oh, it's definitely a bit of a mess in here. Uh, the goats kind of had a go at the at the brooder. I haven't cleaned it out yet this year. They've knocked the base off of that. It's just, it's just, it's a mess. Period. So I'm gonna rip this out and get it done. Well, I don't know where they all went, but apparently this was a mouse house. Uh, they had a tunnel dug under the dirt and up into this bin I was using to prop this up with. Uh, let's see if they have another little hotel over here. There was probably, good night, I don't know, there was probably 20 mice in there. Nothing in that one. They could add a condo. Oh, did one just run out? <laughs> woo -woo. Well, I'm sure I'll find them because if they build a house in this, that could be interesting. Mice, mice everywhere, little mice everywhere, about 3,000. Hey, shut it. Why aren't you guys eating these mice? Come on, guys. All right, now, Colonel Sanders, I'm going to need you to pipe down a bit, buddy. All right, guys, brought the chickens out. I was going to do like I did last time and take them out by one by one and show you guys, but... They were pretty aggressive. Uh, H was helping me catch them in the basement and couldn't even leave this closed but not latched. So she literally had to latch it between each one because they were they were just blasting right through the door. Then we're chasing chickens around the basement. It was no fun. So I think what I'll do is I'll just leave. I'll show you guys the chickens, but... Well, let me just... See if I can just dump them out of there. That is not gonna work. Pop the sides. Hi. <laughs> now that is a box of chicken. Now what I might need to do, what I'll probably for sure need to do is kind of close this up a bit because they are some flighty ones so I found very interesting we were looking at like these guys have like little mohawks um, and I can't remember what the chickens actually called that has like the headdress so we went, I think she got them at Hoover's. We went and we looked at Hoover's, the package we got, and it said you should receive this, 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 and this. And none of those should have a headdress like that. Where'd your head go? There you I can't, show me your head. See how they all have these like, not all of them. But, uh, but yeah, so I found that interesting. These little ones that are in here, this little guy there, that one there, and there's four more in there that are actually the ones that we hatched here on the farm, you know, before the coon took out, took out our mamas. All right, well, I'm dumping you out. Easy though, we'll be easy, we'll be easy. Okay, thanks. Good, look at your head, look at your head feathers. So this will be neat to keep an eye on these ones with these weird, these weird head feathers. And then we have the babies and that's it. So the babies, the, the bigger chickens do a really good job of hiding the babies, as you can tell. How'd you get out? You should not be small enough to fit through there. All right, hold on one second. 
I don't know if you guys can see very well. This is one of our babies that we raised. So you're not going to be able to see Carnal up there probably. But these are all be Carnal babies. And he's a Rhode Island Red. However, he is crossed with a light Brahma, which would be the girl there with the black, the big white chicken with the black neck. So those are some heavy dual purpose birds. They are good layers and they're also good meat birds. We really only use our chickens for laying eggs. But these, a couple of these, I don't know if that's going to end up being a Rhode Island Red. I'll have to take a closer look at all of our girls because we got a nice mix of girls last time. So not sure what they all are, if they're all the same. So I'm just going to pop this little guy back in there. <laughs> and then I'm going to go get their food and water and... I should have said it at the beginning, we like to bring them in here at night. That way everything is settled down, everything's calmed down. It's gonna be dark, everybody's just gonna be roosting. Now these girls aren't gonna be in here too long because they've been in the basement longer than I wanted them to be. So they'll be getting out pretty soon. We're just gonna have to keep a real tight rein on when we're opening the door, when we're closing the door. Very interesting. Pretty sure I got a couple roosters but that is, that is part of the game. But very interesting, some very interesting breeds in there. Looking forward to seeing what they look like when they get bigger. Are you kidding? What did I just, what did I just say? I don't know how to speak baby chicken. I have no idea what any of that means. I just know when I come downstairs and I do that little whistle, that's, it would calm them down. They would all be like, what's that? What's going on? What's up, Featherheads? Y'all are very interesting. You are a loud chicken. <clears throat> Why are you? you should watch out. <clears throat> nope, those are the heavies. Yeah, yeah, I'll move out of your way so you can fly out. She's contemplating the jump. She's a heavy. Poof. <laughs> Anybody else? Come on. There you go. Last one. Come on, Brahma Mama, get. I think Grandma likes the Brahmas because they have the feathery feet. Come on. You old dinosaur, get down out of there. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. One, yeah, collect your eggs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight today. I think we have eight or a little higher or lower. Yes, uh, perhaps. This is your last day. Any, any thoughts? Did you? Tomorrow's my last day. Well, yes, but we got stuff to do that's not farm related tomorrow, so. Oh, so we're not coming to the chicken coop? I mean, I'm just going to get up and get out and get everything done by the time you guys have to be ready to go. So go over there and get a handful of grain out of the bucket there. A handful? Yep. And then just sprinkle it around and I'll tell you why. Sprinkle it around in there where they are. So what that, <laughs> yep. Don't, don't scare them too much though. Finnegan, good morning. I hear him, but I don't see him. Okay, so they're pooping and peeing in there, right? And, and if you leave it, it'll just get wet on top. I'm going to add more wood mulch to it but it'll get wet on top. So what I want them to do is, I want them to scratch around like this. Watch what I'm doing down here. I want them to scratch around like this to try to find the food. And what that'll do is that'll just churn up all the stuff. So the dry stuff will come to the top, the wet stuff will go in the middle and it'll uh, kind of give everything a chance to, to dry out that was on the bottom. And then it'll break down the wood and it'll turn into a nice mulch and it'll have poop in it so it's a fertilizer. And then as we get closer to winter when it starts to get cold, that'll start to break down and the moisture and the poop will, will make a little bit of heat and we'll keep the coop warm in the winter, warmish. I really only focus on it at night because the doors open during the day, but at night, if it's you know 10 degrees outside but it's 35 degrees in here, it's above freezing, so it's worked out really well. 
and it's called deep litter method. So that is important. Important for us. Wait. Ba -da -da, da -da 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 -da. What I was trying to say before somebody jumped the gun is that this is Mia's official last let out of the baby goats. She'll be here tomorrow, but we're not going to shoot video. We're going to go try to do some stuff. Kind of just fell in a place where we don't actually have a show. We don't have a Etsy restock. And so we're going to see if we can go have some fun. Some extra fun. More fun. More fun. You're going to let... Uh, you're gonna let these, let Miss Cookie, <laughs> Cookie Monster out? Excuse me, ladies. I'll miss letting my darling out. Yes. And Cookie Monster out. Sweet Angel Cookie. Oh. Cookie Monster again, because she's making Cookie Monster noises. She was making Cookie Monster noises yesterday. She was eating, and, and uh, Summer, or Sugar Pie, was trying to get in her food, and she was going, blah, 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 blah. Nom, 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 nom. So. That is it for Miss Mia. Can you can't open that door. Watch out. Ta da! Um, a goat isn't coming out, but. For you guys that are new, she doesn't have to come out, baby. Just she, Her door just has to be open so she can come out. She'll, she'll sit in there and hang out until her pain meds kick in and her CBD kicks in, and then. Guys, I'm not kidding. Yesterday I looked out the window because we have them on the side creek pasture that can come up by the house. And I looked out the window and I saw uh, Struzel running by chasing another goat. And I was like, what is happening? So it was just awesome to see. Her actually running again. Yep. Yeah, her up and running. The CBD has just been amazing, guys. Um... For you guys that are new, I know there are a lot of new people because Lester wore a shirt and showed our soap. The Etsy shop is empty because you just missed it. So we restock once a month because that's, well, because you guys buy it out every time. So that's as much as I can make for that month. And so we do that restock once a month. And for those of you who know me, you know, that up later my life timing is terrible and lester got to our soap slash shirt oh, there's strizzle shirt video right after we had sold out of soap and i went ahead and left the shirts up there so the shop wouldn't be completely closed so that when you guys new guys were coming in you would be able to at least see the shirts know that the shop exists what is she doing? Uh, uh, sc scratching her neck and so we will do our next restock on 9-2. We restock on Eastern time, which is New York time. So if you check your time zone and see how far behind you are from New York time, if you're not in New York time zone, and that'll be at noon. So Saturday, 9-2, September 2nd, at noon Eastern time, we'll do a restock on the Etsy shop for you new guys that are, are hitting me up in the comments and the in the everywhere social media. She wants pets. <laughs> I know she wants pets. Um, that'll be when and where. It's a gorgeous day. It's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be like 80 today. I didn't actually check the weather. 80 and sunny. Mia's getting her last pets in. And, uh, yeah. They're missable. <laughs> I cannot believe. Oh, this one, this one, this one, Y'all, that's, this that's one, Tootsie. That one, that one, that one. That's Toots. I mean, she's, I cannot believe how big she is. It's insane. I mean, if you look at her as a comparison to. Grandpa. Yeah. This is her limit. That one. This one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one. All of them. And even the boys, even though I, don't even know them. I'm still gonna miss everybody. <sighs> <laughs> what was that? Did I scare you? You were in trouble and you knew you were in trouble? Wow. Excessive bite. Uh-huh. I cannot believe how big these two are. And actually, if 
if I zip around the room, Shirley is, she's, she's as big as um, Toots. And Mississippi, Mississippi, you look ornery today, girl. <laughs> She's she, my they, third baby. Yeah, they both have ornery written all over them. One baby? Uh, whatever Twink is. Twinkie's back here. I don't know. She's uh, looking for food, maybe. One. So Let's see if we can babies. grab Twinks out of here. Come here, Twinkie. Baby, second baby, third baby. Come here, Twink. Come here, Twink. She did. She snapped. Well, I want to pop her up here. I mean, she looks as big, guys, but I'm telling you, standing here, she's four inches shorter at least than uh, Toots in Mississippi. And then Shirley is about the same size. Drummy Drumstick is... Uh, who's your mom? I don't remember anymore. Muffin. A muffin baby. And she's got, she's got some size on her, but she's not... Height-wise, she's very short. <laughs> Mia's last day. That would be a great thumbnail. What do you think? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Well, your girls are definitely getting their love from you. No, don't leave me. Mama Frost. <laughs> <fr <laughs> she's, she's nibbling. She wants you to turn around and pet her. That's a Mama Frosty love. See? Whoa. And then you got Licorice coming up there trying to defend Toots. Or <laughs> move Toots so she can get her pets. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it for this one. We learned some stuff about chickens this morning with Mia. And uh, we're gonna just get some good pets in today. We have actually half a day planned um, for today to get some stuff done. But that's gonna be it, guys. I'm, that, I'm gonna keep that to us. That's our personal time. That's our just gonna be our special time. I'm not gonna record that. Nobody, you know, we're trying to do something together and I don't want to just pull a camera out and stick it in people's faces. So we're gonna we're gonna have a good day and a half of just chilling and doing whatever. Hi. You gonna have babies? Guys I know I didn't get to the ultrasound. I keep getting asked that. <sighs> we wanted to be here for the ultrasound and now we didn't No we just we just haven't you know the the time that you've been here we had Two short weeks and this week is kind of short um we just we just had we just we just had it had it going <laughs> so it kind of is what it is babe it's crazy but right I, I think i'm not sure if we're even going to try to get to them or, or if we are not so I, i'll just i'll keep you guys posted um if you look at sugar pie well I don't, she might have gone outside she didn't go outside Miss Sugar Pie, can you come over here for a second? Now she is. Come here, come on, come out here so we can see in the light. She's a what I call one of our big-bodied girls. She just has a big, thick, heavy hoof, I'm and to she's very stout-looking. Now, can so. Oh, uh, probably. Versus a. Mama Frosty, who's just a tall, thin supermodel. Long legs, narrow body. You have licorice is the same. Gummy's probably gonna be the same. And you have Sprinkles is just like a normal bodied goat. Tick is a little small bodied. So my big bodied girls, see outside of that, so um, Puddin' and Muffin are kind of that dairy, like that Jersey cow looking. But then you have the heavy, they just look heavy and low to the ground and stocky. Hey, but if you do top down on her, you guys might not be able to notice, but cause she just, she's just one of those background goats. Um, she's always there. She doesn't really bother anybody. She doesn't cause any problems. She's not normally sick or wormy or anything like that. She's just a good solid goat. But if I look at her, I see how round she's getting. The lunch is on the left baby's on the right but her overall her overall theme as a pregnant mom is beach ball you look like a beach ball you look like you swallowed a beach ball <laughs> she's a good goat she's just mellow she's chill I'm 
You don't, who? Are you trying to get Toots to jump on you? So I don't know, guys. I guess I say all that to say I, I do believe that Sugar Pie is pregnant. I will have to check uh, birth dates, kidding dates for you guys and get back to you. She's not going to jump on you if you want her to. That's the rule of goats. The rule of goats is if you want them to, they won't. If you don't want them to, they will. So just walk away and ignore her like you don't want her to. <laughs> See if that works. You got one on your backside. Sweet little angel. Jummy drumsticks. Oh, I can't leave well, it's it's happening. You can't take them. Why I, do the babies have to be so cute this year? They're cute every year. Oh, you normally wouldn't see them because we normally sell all the girls. This year we've kept four, so. Okay, guys, that is it for today. We're going to go have some some just quiet personal time with Mia over the next day and a half. And then we will see you guys on Monday. I might not get this video out until Monday. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> Bye, guys.